Hello everybody, this is James Roney Staters with free magnetic energy info. Um, over the last year or so, probably more, probably two or three years, I've gotten an enormous amount of questions and these questions pretty much boil down to the same question over and over again. Um, so I want to go over principle here, how this works and why it works the way it does. Um, and it's important that I get as much information up online because you never know when I just might check out and then you'll never see me again. You know, I mean, people die, you know, people disappear sometimes too with, with no explanation. You know, I'm not exactly young, I'm not old either, but you know, tomorrow I could have a heart attack. You know, heaven forbid, God forbid. Because um, my research is important and I truly believe that like so many countless people here that are brought here into this world are here on a mission. Uh, I don't know how many of you all have gotten involved or listened to near-death experiences on YouTube, but if you listen to two or three hundred of them, like I have, you begin to hear a common theme. And uh, nearly all of them were sent back. They all said they all had a mission and they had to return. I'm not going to get into that. That's not what this video is about. But I truly believe my mission is, is two things. Uh, this wheel here, this uh, being able to make a an engine that runs strictly on magnetics with no external power supply. Um, and then the other, it's pretty top secret, but I, I, no, I'm not going to spill the beans on it it's because it just complicates matters here with you know my security. But here nor there, this is really a side tangent. This is not something this is not my main forte working with magnets. But I have a good head on my shoulders, at least I like to think I do. And so I started dabbling in these magnets and doing this like my father did way back some thirty five years ago. He was trying to do the same thing. He never succeeded in, and um but I know he was close by the way he was doing it. But he lacked what I refer to as a special stator that I call the James Roney stator and uh, one-way magnetic shielding. Now this magnetic shielding is this stator is right here and the way I built this you can go and look this up on my channel and you'll see how this is built and I took it apart. Now I'm not going to take this one apart. These are very hard to build very tricky but once you get it built right they work really really nice now kind of a close view of what's going on back here and you know up here you know you can see this wheel moves freely now you'll see here let me move this here to the lead magnet here okay the whole point of this video here is to show you that I have overcome the sticky spot now, if you don't know what a sticky spot is, you probably don't have any need to watch this video. But if you know what a sticky spot is, then you probably have been playing with magnets. So, I have overcome the sticky spot, which is what everybody runs into. Now, there are videos on YouTube where the sticky spot seems to be overcome. Um... Because what I'm going to show you, because I've overcome it, I have to believe that, yeah, maybe some of those videos are legit. However, most of those videos are not legit. They're stolen videos, and these websites slap their name onto the video um, and try to claim these videos as theirs. And it's not that hard to figure out when they do that, especially when they post 40, 60, or 120 of the same video on the same channel. And then they never come back to that channel. Um, I want to let you know that you are permitted, I'm giving you liberal copyright permission, I repeat that, whoever is viewing this video has liberal copyright permission to repost this video elsewhere. However, you are not permitted to use my video for financial gain directly or indirectly in any aspect whatsoever. So please refrain from copy my video for personal financial gain. Okay, so let's get down to the meats and potatoes of all of this. This is my stator. And what I've done here is that I have taped 
this is um, a two inch cross, one inch down by half inch deep or, or thickness, uh, neodymium uh, N52 magnet. And then I have um, another uh, neodymium magnet inside of here. It's shielded in a very special way. What we have here is we have attraction and we have repulsion on this side here. And But by the way of shielded, there's metal shielding here. Like I said, go watch the video. These magnets here are drawn to it because you can see it cogging. Let me show you it's cogging. See it has rocking back and forth. So it shows you the principle of attraction. So I kind of got past something. I'm sorry. I, I I skipped over something. I wanted to show you proper construction of how these magnets are lined up. Again, two inch magnet by one inch, by half inch thick. I've taped them on to the position of the spoke, center to the spoke. Now, for convenience sake, I use this as an English racing bicycle wheel. I'm not sure how many inches it is. It's probably a 30 inch wheel, whatever it is. Maybe 32. And then I skip a spoke, and then I put the next magnet here, center, of this spoke. Now I did this in the beginning just to keep it easy to figure out mathematically spacing evenly. So you can see one spoke has a magnet, skip a spoke. One spoke has a magnet, skip a spoke. One spoke has a magnet, skip, magnet, skip, magnet. Now I haven't fastened this one down. Um, but anyway, so now, here on these, I have a second set over here. These are not spaced the same. Here it is on the spoke, and then instead of skipping a spoke, we have the next magnet at one and a half spokes away, the center of the magnet. And then you can see the configuration is not one spoke, skip a spoke, one spoke, skip a spoke, one spoke, skip a spoke. They're closer together. Generally, the closer the magnet, the better this works. However, these are too close, and this doesn't work really well. But for the point of what I'm about to show you here, a better known as leapfrogging, these will show you that these are too close, but when they're spaced a little bit further apart, they leapfrog perfectly. Leapfrogging means that because of my unique James Roney stator, uh, that when this lead magnet comes through, usually you have to push it through. And then once you push it through, it'll keep on going. But remember, this is attraction. So I don't have to push it through. And then repulsion over here. So what we have here, and this is metal. This is metal there. Okay? So, all I have to do it's just release, I can feel it pulling here. I can feel it trying to pull through. So let me just release it and show you. Now what's gonna happen, I'm gonna do this by hand first. As this magnet goes through, it gets a little bit more speed. This speed here takes it to this magnet. Now, each time it goes through one of these magnets, or leapfrogs to the next magnet, it gets a teensy, weensy, little tiny bit more of speed. So it means that when this one comes through, this magnet is going through a little bit faster than the lead magnet. So that means that when this one goes through, it's going to pick up a teensy, weensy, little tiny bit of, of speed, which when it gets to this magnet now, this magnet here will enter into the stator going just a little bit faster. Okay, and so forth. And then the next one, as it leapfrogs the next one. And then the next one. The whole point here, though, is that by the time it gets to this last one, I could put more on here, but I've only put this many on here to show you principle, that it will have so much speed, or inertia, that by the time it gets to the end of this line of magnets, which all of these here, all of these you can see here, by the time it gets to the last one, it will have so much speed or inertia that it will just come through 
and it won't pull back. Now I'm going to let this go for a moment. You'll see it will pull back. See, it wants to pull back. It even wants to cog. Well, hang on a second. Let me let, let, me let you watch it cog. See? Well, hi, Scotty. Good to see you back. Yeah. Just don't touch the wheel this time, okay, young man? Okay, so. Now, let's go to the point in principle. Remember, what I'm about to show you is epic. This is extremely important. Just like the bygone days of when combustion engine was one cylinder, and look what engines are today. If you will, this is my one cylinder right here. Okay, this is one cylinder. <laughs> okay, but it's just no compression. Okay, unlike the true combustion engine. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to just, I can feel the pull right here. The, the traction has begun. I can feel it. I'm just going to raise my hand up and watch it pull itself through. A little faster, a little faster, just a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and yay, it goes all the way through. Now, this next set of magnets are going to come around. They're not properly spaced. I didn't make it because there wasn't enough speed here going on. Now, again, the importance of this is absolutely epic. I mean, it's a paradigm shift in the industry. You have to be able to create a stator that attracts it in one direction, but allows the last magnet to pull all the way through. Scott, are you getting yourself into trouble again? Okay, so... As you can see, it goes all the way through, and the last magnet made it. Now, had there been another stator here, right here, and then say another one, one third of the way around, or one stator, one fourth, every all, each spot, 25% of each position. In other words, four stators on this evenly spaced. Um, that would have allowed this to continue to go. Now, I have to make another stator. I, my second one, I tore apart for the video. These are really, really hard to make. They just are. They're tricky, and once you get them made right, they're really, really sweet. So, um, then I'll build a second one and put it here. The wheel, when it's on its side, has way too much friction. It just doesn't work well at all. So, the video I made last night with the cat playing with it and slowing down the wheel uh, was just to show the cat being cute with the wheel. It was never intended as a quote-unquote epic video. Um, documenting something monumental in history, although it does. Somebody's already left a negative post um, about it, but you know what? It doesn't make any difference. Uh, my my videos are real. They're genuine. I'm not faking anything here. There's no trickery. There's no fishing lines like Marlo or Milo, whatever his name was, did, and he finally confessed or fessed up. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Um... Again, there are two sets of magnets on here. There's one set here, and there's another set over here. They're even on each side to try to keep this wheel balanced as best as possible, especially when it's vertical, because if it's not balanced vertically, um, then the wheel just doesn't work at all. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you, that I have overcome the sticky spot. And um, this is night and day. If you know anything about this, you realize how extremely important my achievement is here. A little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and voila, it went all the way through. Okay? Now, I'll show you this other set. It's not properly spaced properly. I can feel the pull here, and it's not going to make it all the way through. I'm pretty sure it won't. Watch. I'm, gonna let, I'm just going to let go of it. This guy, you, don't, you, leave, you leave the wheel alone. Okay, here we go. I'm just let go now. Uh, no, not quite. You see, it, when the magnets are a little too close together, the 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 leapfrogging is not maximizing uh, the acceleration, and thereby when it gets to the last magnet, it's really not going fast enough. To pull it all the way through. So that's a good example there. This is the sticky spot, if you will, that people have trouble with. Now usually the bigger sticky spot is, is that you'll see in videos, they got to push it through their stator with force. And then once they push it through, 
it'll go all the way through and then the last magnet will go all the way through and come out on the other end. Whereas mine, I don't have to do that. All I have to do is just let my hand off of it and it'll just go automatically. Now, these are the magnets that are not properly spaced. Uh, almost. Okay, so, but do the other one, the other set, which is properly spaced, right here. Again, let me just let it go, and it should go all the way through just, should go all the way through just fine. See, went all the way through. Whereas this set of magnets is not correct. It won't go all the way through. See, it's going to pull it back. Okay, and that is better known as a sticky spot. That's one of the two dilemmas of a sticky spot. Because what people tell you is that, like the pendulum on a, on a clock swinging back and forth, the energy keeps coming back and forth. So what happens is, when it gets so far past it, what it sees, it attracts and pulls it back, and it just starts rocking back and forth like that. Like, eh. I can't get it to cog because my one-way stator, stator is uh, keeps trying to move it through. Anyway, um, because these are spaced further apart, they'll cog easier. Watch. See, now it's cogging. It's rocking back and forth. Attraction, repulsion. Attraction, repulsion. Attraction, repulsion. And this is what everybody has to overcome. You have to make it so one side of the attraction versus the repulsion is in balance. So there's more repulsion than there is attraction or vice versa, whichever way you want to go about it. When you get them in imbalance, like 60-40, which is what this is all about, my stator there, my James Roney stator, custom designed by me, um, that's how I get the imbalance in the wheel. And once you create an imbalance, then you get past the sticky spot. Okay, enough said. I think I've explained this enough in detail. Now you should get it. And uh, so, again, you're welcome to repost this elsewhere as long as it's not for any financial gain. And uh, I guess that's about it. And um, that's all that's fit to, re to report here for right now. I'm going to go ahead and spin this a little bit. It will go for a little while, even with the goofed up magnets, but trust me, it is losing speed. And also on its side with this archaic setup, there's more friction here than, than necessary. Alrighty. Well, anyway, this is James Roney Staters with free magnetic energy dot info. Signing out.